Eriko Yamatani, Minister in Charge of Territorial Integrity. Japan has long walked a steady path as a peace-loving nation that values freedom and democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. The Abe cabinet, under the banner of proactive contribution to peace based on the principle of international cooperation, is determined to contribute even more proactively in securing peace, stability, and prosperity of the international community. In the same vein, Japan has been advocating the importance of the rule of law in the international community at every opportunity. Today's security environment and the situation regarding Japan's territorial integrity require more serious attention. In such an environment, I would like today to share with you our view on the current situation, in particular that of the Senkaku Island and the Takeshima issue. In 1895, the government of Japan incorporated the Senkaku Island into Okinawa Prefecture in accordance with international law. Before World War II, more than 200 Japanese workers inhabited the island to engage in dry bonito manufacturing and albatross feather collecting business for some time. Under the San Francisco Peace Treaty, which came into effect in 1952, the Senkak Island were treated as a part of Nansei Shoto Island of Japan. There are no doubts whatsoever that uh, Senkaku Island are an inherent part of Japan's territory, in light of historical facts and international law. There exists no issue of territorial sovereignty to be resolved concerning the Senkaku Island. However, since 2008, Chinese government vessels have intermittently intruded into our territorial waters surrounding the Senkaku Island. There is no denying that those actions are an attempt to unilaterally change the status quo. In 1905, Takeshima was incorporated into Shimane Prefecture as Japan's territory. The island had offered a rich fishing ground for sea lions and abalones for Japanese fishermen for a long time. It is considered that Japan had established sovereignty over Takeshima by mid 17th century at latest. Under the San Francisco Peace Treaty, Takeshima was treated as a part of Japan. Nevertheless, in 1952, the Republic of Korea unilaterally drew the so-called Sigma Lee Line in the high seas in contravention of international law and placed Takeshima into the Korean side of the line. Shortly before the San Francisco Peace Treaty came into effect. Since then, Japan has proposed to the Republic of Korea that the case be referred to the International Court of Justice on three occasions in order to resolve this dispute in a peaceful manner in accordance with international law. Unfortunately, to this day, they have continued to refuse to engage in dialogue. Concerning both the situation surrounding the Senkaku Island 
and uh, Takeshima issue, we have recently uploaded the relevant historical documents and material underlying Japan's position on this website in an effort to help the public at home and abroad better understand those facts and Japan's position. In addition, as a part of our efforts to promote education regarding territorial integrity, teaching guide for the course of study for lower and upper secondary school have recently been revised. In the textbook, used for elementary and lower secondary school. Description regarding territorial integrity have also substantially increased. As minister in charge of territorial integrity, I will take every opportunity to explain our position based on the facts in a calm and logical manner I appreciate your support and understanding towards this end. Thank you very much.